Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nimer here with some more card survival tropical island. Today we're gonna be playing some more hard mode achieve 10,000 plus. This is the run we started to show how we can do the steam achievement for 10,000 plus points, which shows some perks which are pretty easy to deal with. So should be a nice journey, although some of them I do regret taking. If you were be doing it yourself i would definitely consider dropping like inappetent maybe vegetarian maybe macaque curse although it's not really that big of a deal but anyway if you have any questions about this whole thing you can let me know these are the perks we're gonna go through them really really fast today this will be probably be the last episode we're gonna get to day 120 and uh, well if all goes well we should win and get the achievement uh, we'll see how much exactly points these are right now but i don't uh, think they changed from these notes here the only one i would really say inappetent was clearly not a minor inconvenience but that's because it was uh, made tougher to deal with after we already started the run uh as for the others let me say uh, negated i mean most of the things yeah uh it was a little bit hard during the dry period the extreme rain did not make it rain during the dry period the the summer was stronger than it so that's definitely something to take in mind so all that it really remains here is to well play out the five days and uh, yeah we're gonna win so <laughs> i have to think about what to ramble about i guess we can talk about what could we do in the future i definitely want to play uh, uh something else i will not be playing only the uh, my main run although main runs pretty cool i enjoy doing it quite a lot Okay, here we have our unplanned partridge enclosure. We are vegetarian, so we cannot eat the eggs. Eggs are considered... Oh, hello there, mice. Well, nothing happened. Okay, and no kids. Thank you very much, I said. No children. Yeah, yeah, they are not happy with that sort of thing, but um, it is what it is. There we go. And then we just dump them back inside. Here, eat your unborn children. Because that's apparently a cool thing to do. That's probably considered a dick move in the partridge world. But hey, I'm the boss. I gave them safety. I decide how we do it. Okay, we're gonna make some more ginger here. There we go. Start the... Is this thing on? Yeah, it's already on. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, right now we have our main run going we have this one this one we're gonna win we also have the talia the thirsty it's the run we created where uh the rain never falls was it talia the thirsty anyway it's an extreme drought run uh basically uh it's six of these eight i'm gonna empty them there we go uh, the rain doesn't fall there because of the extreme drought perk. We didn't have a single droplet of rain the whole run. And that's basically if you are struggling with the uh, surviving without rain in the dry period, that's probably the one you should take a look at and see how you can actually survive in those very, very hard circumstances. If I want to say so myself. And yeah, uh, I think I'll probably finish the, the Jasmine run. And... Did I say Talia? No, it's Jasmine. The no rain Jasmine. I also had the extreme drought Talia before, way, way before. That's why I confused these two. Sorry about that. Extreme run, ja extreme uh, no rain Jasmine. It's what's the run called. Okay, so we got some chilies here. We should also, oh, we already have some cut yams. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go and boil them up. There we go. Gonna make some food. Okay. Uh, and let's see, we're gonna go for some yam curry, there we go, need to cook that as well, and while we're waiting for that, let's see if we have something to snack, oh, we actually already have some of these, okay, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, got the banana, some honey candy, okay, it's raining again, I mean, that's totally expected, it's gonna be raining a lot until we finish here, I hope I do get the achievement though, so, uh, I did the um, on my main run, well on my main run, my longest run, I tried to do return to the monkey, I entered the cave, I exited the cave and bam, the monkeys came back and that was not very pleasant. So, but then I went to the, 
And then I went to the, what is it called? Caesar, hello Caesar, how are you doing Caesar? Let's go nap. But then I went to my mud hut inside the jungle, which actually had uh, maximum comfort and I got the achievement even though I didn't have six monkeys in the max comfort uh, cave Makaki then I had six monkeys in there and then I had max comfort in the jungle and the achievement triggered but I will also do it the normal way don't worry uh, it's not gonna leave I'm gonna not leave it at that so yeah anyway let's go take another nap maybe I don't know What's the fastest way to play out five days? Probably just sleep, 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 right? <laughs> I would, uh, I would imagine so. I would imagine so. It's just a whole bunch of sleeps and naps. Mm, should have done that first. Okay, doesn't matter. We have plenty of resources, so it's not really a big deal. It's not a big deal, Leo. Okay, I don't have to put it on. Okay, let's go eat some more. Let's eat patana, take a little bit of a break. Oh, we need to repair the, the roof, so we're gonna do it. But yeah, I'll do it properly. I will get... Oh, what did he take? I didn't see it. I will get the maximum comfort inside the... Um, look at the beautiful, beautiful rain. The extreme rain is what made this, uh, this run a breeze in all the areas except 90, uh, 60 to 90. That one was kind of, you know... It took us a little bit to get through that, but it was okay. Uh, I came outside to grab something. Oh yeah, I know. We need to repair the roof. One thing is, you ha do have to... Oh, where is my axe, though? Oh, there it is. Ah, that's what we were doing. Okay. So one thing is that you don't need to repair the roof a little bit more often than you normally would, but uh, repairing the roof is really not that hard. Like compared to some other actions, it doesn't really take that much of a time. So I wouldn't worry too much about that one, basically. Anyway, let's go and finish the path, I guess. Let's get civilized here. Let's get civilized. We can't leave this dude to take care of himself and not give him some, some basic, you know, how should we call it civilization stuff right also we need to teach Caesar how to like build and stuff okay it broke so we're gonna need a new new axe I mean new shovel it's gonna be okay I think we do have another half log anyway so we can easily do it there we go let's go back inside make another of course, it's easier if you have a copper shovel, but I never did go and get the copper shovel, so you're using a wooden one. Okay. So let's make the shovel uh, handle first. There we go. And then we're gonna put some, we're gonna sh make the, we're gonna fashion the head out of the shovel head, out of the, out of the piece of wood. There we go. And then, well, Actually, the day is still young. We can do it. Okay, what are we going to take this time? Nothing. Okay. And bam, we have the path built. Wonderful. We can already feel civilization coming to our place, right? <laughs> day 116. Okay, let's go and sleep. Maybe eat a couple bananas before we do that. Drink a little bit ginger. Also, we don't really need ginger, but I don't know. There we go. Sleep. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, sleep is the best way to pass time in this game. I guess we're gonna do another nap here. Nothing really else I wanna do on this round, but if you wanna see a game mechanic or anything really that you weren't able to see in this one, let me know and we're gonna do it on my guidance survival zone that one is the one where i want to show you everything eventually of course we cannot do everything at once so yeah some patience is nice but yeah eventually we're gonna show off everything that there is to show pretty much but yeah i will uh on Guideman Survival Zone, I will go to the and capture the Makaki then again and do the dynamite thing. And the only question really is if I will if I will go 
with the roots to remove all the monkeys from the island and then slowly increase the comfort or if I will actually uh, make like um, all the things we need to max the comfort do one fight go inside make everything we need and call it a day and then we're gonna move on to the next thing there anyway let's grab some more ginger although we don't probably really don't need it anymore but uh, you know ginger tea is something that really how should i say marked this run in a way it was like our signature thing it really helped out with the inappetent perk ginger is amazing by the way it gives you better appetite uh, helps uh, remove the food saturation faster so you can optimize and eat uh, less different types of meals and uh, still do really really well uh, for example, I like to optimize for like the, what is it called? Oh, these things will like break. Let's just eat them up, I guess. Uh, I like to make uh, yam curries and they are very nice to make. And you can like yam curries, you can make out of wild yams, chili plants, and uh, you can farm both and then oil from coconuts. So it's like if you're playing a vegetarian run, that's like really, really nice and easy. You can murder Western with a wooden shovel. How quaint. Okay. Well, let's prepare some more yams, I guess. And the stove is not on, so let's make it on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. And this one we're just gonna toss inside there. Bam! And uh, let's grab the chilies. Where are my chilies? Here they are. I'll prepare them. I'm probably not gonna finish them up though yet. We still have a couple of portions in our backpack. Oh! We discovered a new blueprint. Oh well. Mm. Oh, I was probably res no. Yeah, I was probably researching it, right? Anything else I want to do here? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Okay, uncooked yam curry. Let's make another one. Mm. There. Okay, some oil would also probably be necessary, so let's jump on that. Da -da -bum 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 -bum. So do we have another box for oil? Not really, but we can use some pots here. And there. Good. When the weather outside is frightful, make a mud hut and huddle up. Oof. I'm almost feeling cold myself here. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, cook that. I guess these will leave for now. Okay, take a little bit of a break. It was a long, hard day. Another one here. And there we go. Yeah, let's drink all up and we're gonna make some more right away. There we go. Ginger it up. But I was saying, ginger is amazing. It, like, helps you with uh, appetite. So, you can eat more and you can eat, like, less variety of food. Um... Uh, it also has a little bit, it boosts your immune system a tiny bit, not as much as spider lily, but, but most importantly it makes you help stay awake, which is interesting. Which is interesting and we should probably get nerfed, but well, we'll see when it happens. But, um, but yeah, I was able to play this round with very little to no sleep. I really do hope when we get to day 180, we can, uh, 20, we can actually win. That didn't, we didn't forget, like, something. Just in case, I guess it's better if we get there faster rather than slower. Uh, okay, what did I do? Okay, let's do it like this. Good. So if we need to fix something, we can and still win. Like, I totally plan to win in this episode, by the way. So, yeah. I'm gonna jump onto the next character. There's plenty of things people want to see, like killer drones, and they also want to see the raft victory on No Ranger's Man. And yeah, so there's plenty of stuff we need to play. And of course, I'm gonna continue my main run as well. Anyhow, let's go eat and then maybe sleep. Uh, we can make some wood carvings, I guess, just to have a little bit of fun. And there we go. Grab the knifey knife here. We have so many now. There we go. 
Caesar. Caesar's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, Katrina noticed on my main run that, uh, well, the, the shoulder monkey doesn't really get <laughs> a lot of food and water. Whenever I remember to, like, give water and food to the other monkeys, sometimes I forget the shoulder one. And that's true. That's true. It's not a position of comfort. It really is a position of uh, prestige. But sometimes it can get a little bit rough, that's for sure. Anyway, let's make another one. And take a little bit of a break. Day 118, so we need to... So they made it so you need to get, even though we have everything right now that we need to actually win, they made it so that you actually need to play it out. You have to prove that it was not a fluke, that you actually can get to day 120. Because technically you could rush maximum comfort by day 60 before the summer period. I mean, it wouldn't be really easy. You would really need to optimize your run. I still think if you survive to maximum comfort, you can probably survive as many days as you want in this game. But yeah, they still wanted us to prove that we can actually survive, that nothing will kill us, that nothing bad will happen. So you still need to play it out until day 120. But that's all right. Stealing bugs, eh? Okay, let's uh, fix the roof again. Uh, small palm tree. There we go. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, by the way. Okay. Okay. There we go. Small palm tree, snake grass patch. Really excited. Really excited. Like, uh, I was always saying I'm not a huge, like, achievement sort of person. But you know what? I think it's fine for YouTube, right? Like, uh, show you guys how to do achievements and stuff. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, I don't know, I am, <laughs> I am developing a taste for it. So I'll definitely go for like many achievements in this game. Not sure how much time I'll have. These days I play card survival like for like 30, 40 minutes each day, not more than that. So yeah, the pace is not there for me to like do everything really fast, but still we'll get there eventually. So, okay, there we go. The chili. Okay, let's go take another nap. Some well deserved rest here. We really deserved to like nap a lot and just enjoy our life that we created for us here. I wonder. I wonder what the character will do after we leave him. Oh! <laughs> oh, by the way, we also need to fix these. So let's fix them. What would be the character's preference after we leave it to its own merits? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, make a necklace. Make a necklace. Wouldn't be nice to leave it with the broken equipment, right? Speaking of broken equipment, nah, rest, rest is mostly fine. We need to make the monkey dance a little bit. Maybe unlock a new rhythm? Okay, let's not die from overheating though, right? That would be unpleasant. So Caesar, what do you think? Enjoy dancing to the to the rhythms of the drum. Maybe we get a new instrument someday soon. Who knows? Okay, let's go here. Good, nice. Drink a little bit. Give an egg to our friend. There we go. Do that. Do that. Let's do some more wood carvings. I really do enjoy wood carving. It's like one of my favorite things to do in this game. It's very entertaining. It's nice and smooth. It's easy to do. So yeah, once you increase your uh, woodworking skill, it's one of the best things you can do. However, we are running out of wood a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go chop some. Let's go chop some before the, the day is done. And then, well, 118, 119 soon, then only one day left to go. And we are at good pace here. Good pace, well, it's easy to have a good pace when you know that things are about to finish, more or less. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, let's push it to day 120. Maybe we need to get to day 121, I'm not sure, actually. So I'm ready for that as well. So if you go to the log here, so it says... 
we need to get to 120 days. We are 98%, it says. The game says, okay. Some more. There we go. Some more figurines. We have a lot of them. Actually, these take up quite a bit of room inside here. I look at their entertainment going up. You can max it. They changed, they made the, the whole uh, staleness system a little bit easier. So now you can easily max entertainment by just doing the wood carvings. I wouldn't say it makes the game like much, much easier because of it. Just makes it more comfortable to play. It's still not wise to spam just entertainment if you don't have everything else covered. And if you do have everything else covered, then it really doesn't matter because you're gonna win either way. You can totally play without entertainment. Your morale is going to be really low though. So that uh, has some problems of its own. But it's not really that big of a problem. I wonder though. I don't see like... We have quite a big of a buffer. With the gloves. Okay, need to sharpen it again. There we go. And of course, we are sleepy, so let's feed the monkey. Give it some water. And there we go. Let's feed ourselves and then go to sleep again. Uh, we could also wash, probably a good idea. We can also wash by just going outside and chopping a little bit because it's raining, so let it be. Let the monkey go! Let the monkey go, I said! Yes. X. There we go, so I don't starve. There. We are losing some food over the time, so definitely can't feed the partridge's eggs, but it does help a little bit. I mean, you cannot feed them only eggs. Maybe you can, I don't know how the math works, because after it empties, they start starving, but then yeah but then their food meter goes up again if you put some inside there so if you're hovering around zero it becomes a little bit more efficient than before actually actually if that makes sense what i just said anyway let's snap coconut half spoiled Oof, it's gonna be nasty okay let's go and drink a little bit okay good Let's visit the beach, have some fun there as well, make a sand castle maybe. I only built one path, I guess that's alright. Okay, so let's see, build a sand castle, bam, build another one. So you can just spam sand castle now also for entertainment. Although once they get stale, definitely a slow action. Yeah, figurines are better. That's good, because otherwise you would have a balance issue. Which you probably don't want. Balance issues are not good. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll be right on time here. We even have time to do another day if we need to. Hopefully not. Okay, let's go grab some more. Do we have any chilies? We have the yam. Let's grab some chilies then. Just in case we have to play for another day here. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna sleep through the night. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna miss this run. In many ways, it's actually a lot easier than the standard perk class. <laughs> Funnily enough. Let's go. Okay, getting a little bit tired of drumming. That's okay. Okay, Caesar, I need to make some food. Uh, just you wait. Uh, so, we're going to yam. Oh, wait, what? Even more. Even more. Okay, let's fill this up. Take a little bit of a break while we're waiting for them to fill. Good. Bim, bim, ba da bam. Uh, right. There we go, and let's make some yam curry. 
Yeah, this is probably gonna be the last meal we make. I don't know, maybe not, we'll see. We'll see, you never know with these kind of things. Uh, right. We'll see now. Yum is done. Eat. There we go. Let's drum some more. Okay, Caesar, dance for me, monkey. Pet. Yeah, how's a good monkey or a good monkey? There we go. Pa -pa -pa -da -pa -pa. Day 120. Will the game allow us to do the thing? No, we might need to do another day, it seems like. That's okay. We'll see. Maybe we need to wait for 8 a.m. Because not all the things are straight up logical in this game. It used to be the day starts at 8 a.m. So maybe this is like the the remains of the old system. Mm, no. 99%. Huh. One more day then? That's fine. Well, I did foresee this possibility. Hmm, that's weird though. If we need... Oh, all oh, right. We need to survive for 120 days. <clears throat> Since we start on day one, we have to get it to 121, apparently. That actually makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Definitely. Okay. We might need to make some more food, but... Probably okay. Okay, Caesar. I need to go and grab some more food. Let's see, we have chilies, so we're gonna need some... Um, okay, let's go feed the partridges as well. There you go, today you get some proper food, where is it? Oh, we don't actually have any bird feet, we do. There we go, nice. Okay, some eggs for the, my, my, my monkey friend. Okay, good. Drop some trees down. There we go, grab a wild yam. You can also use the shovel for this. <coughs> But yeah, it's logical if you think about it. It doesn't say until day 120, it says survive 120 days. And well, we didn't, definitely didn't spend 120 days just yet on this island, so yeah. I'll probably make it up to 120 because that would be so much OC better OCD wise, but that's okay. There we go, cook these. Take another break here. Okay, eat. And there we go. And drink. Let's drink some ginger tea. There we go. Yeah, let's continue our ritual here. Where is the my friend? There we go. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, it's interesting. There's like many different like uh, sound effects for this thing. Tu, 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 tu. So there's that one. This one's definitely different. And look at that. We are. The game says we are fine. We are more than fine, dude. We have so much fun right now. Yeah, that one. It's pretty rare, I'd say. Okay. There you go, eat a little bit, and let's continue the crazy dance. Let's take a little bit of a break though. There we go, survive for 120 days. Now we can make a home sign, and then we can win by clicking on it. So we're gonna need a couple of planks. Okay, we are still not done, because hello, we don't have those. So we're gonna need to take down a large tree, make some planks. And then, yeah, I did back up the save, so... We can continue this run if we want to, for whatever reason. If you want me to like go back into the save and like... Whatever, you can let me know in the comments. If it sounds reasonable, I can do it. And there we go. I'm sure somebody will say, make a sago cake to celebrate. Or maybe not. I'm not doing the sago cake. We celebrated by dancing a lot. That's what we did in this playthrough, so. And well, good thing my axe broke. I mean, good thing that my axe had just enough durability, but we can't leave our dude without the axe, right? No way, no how. Let's sharpen it up and remake it. There we go. Bam. Okay. 
the home sign then. Shall we? I need the axe. Well, we need to make it anyway because, yeah. Some three nails. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. We know how to do that. We are master woodworker after all. It all takes quite a bit of time, but well, here we are. Gonna nail it down. And now you win by clicking on this thing and accepting your new life. Let's see what the time is. It's 30 minutes. Well, just on time. So, this was quite an adventure here. Uh, really enjoyed it. One last dance, I guess. Okay, and some ginger. So yeah, hopefully enjoy this tutorial slash let me show you off <laughs> how you can combine perks to make the run super easy. I mean, somebody asked, I think, for it. Somebody, yeah, a lot of people were actually asking how on the somewhere, or either on Discord or on Steam, how to actually do the achievement because, well, on paper it's really hard if you don't choose the proper perks. So yeah, we chose a lot of perks which have anti-synergize. Well, they're bad perks, but they anti-synergize with each other. Like bug, bug attraction doesn't do much if it's raining all the time and there's no bugs around. The permeable skin doesn't do much if it's raining all the time. Short-sided doesn't really do much in general. Birthday suit doesn't do much if you have a whole bunch of clothes from the plane crash. Plane crash doesn't do all that much if the bugs are not the problem. Being pale doesn't do all that much if you're in the middle of the jungle. Shellfish allergy doesn't do much if you're a vegetarian. Vegetarian doesn't do much if you plant like a million crops. Nut allergy doesn't do much if you plant a million crops. Weak immune system doesn't do much if you're careful. Well, this one, this one made us work for it. Makaki curse doesn't do much if you don't have items of value where they can grab them if you keep them safe. And that's more or less it. So let's see how many points. It was like 13 points. Okay, we're getting a little bit sick because of the yams, but yeah. Warning, this will end the game, yes. Uh, also, this is an achievement, right? Well, it's going to depend on our score. Let's see what the score will be. 13,000. So they did change something. When I actually play, uh, made the character, it was 13 point. Well, it was more. It was more, so... Yeah, we survived for 121 days. The hopeless tale of hard mode achieved. Well, <laughs> it wasn't really that hopeless. Well, that was the point. To get a nice combination together for the Steam achievement. I could probably do like a normal hard run where everything's hard for 10,000. But this was more like a tutorial thing. Let's go to the journal. On the first day, I found a cave in the wetlands. It appears to be very dark. I killed a macaque. Oh, no. Learning more about plants. Well, there's gonna be a lot of these makaki things, I'm gonna say. Another makaki kill. It bit me. After some point, I guess I decided not to mess with them anymore. I think I was killing them for the for the meat so I can plant on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Then we planted like a million bananas. And then we made some pots. And then we made some more crop plots, did some yams. Yeah, they changed the fonts here. It usually, it used to be green and red. And then fast forward, brrr. let's see if we can see something interesting here. <laughs> I build a snare trap, yeah. I do things in batches, like, I like that kind of gameplay. In real life, it would probably not be that great, I don't know. I wonder if I'm going to notice where I actually went for copper tools. Day 87, we probably had copper tools by this point. And we harvested a lot of ginger roots. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> ginger, ginger, snake grass, ginger, ginger. I felt sick and had to throw up. Oh, that was nasty. Not sure how that happened. Yeah, I don't remember that actually. Yeah, <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing happened on, oh, wait, what, what is about, what's this all about? Okay. There you go, day 121, we built some planks, copper eggs, ate some curry, crafted a beautiful, beautiful home sign. And we decided to rest, spend the rest of my days on the island. And I don't know, did we actually get the achievement, dude? 
Yes, we did. Hard mode. Win a game with a custom character of at least 10,000 points of difficulty. Safety mode not allowed. 0.4% of players have this achievement. So yeah, if you want to be the f one of the first 1% of people to have this achievement on Steam from people who bought the game, well, better get going. Better get going because, you know... So this is the character. Yeah. So we can go and edit it if you to make it a little bit more suitable for you. So let's say if we drop the inappetent and if we drop the this one's a little bit annoying at the start. But yeah, this would be pretty easy, I would say. Right? And I would say maybe you can drop the monkeys as well, so they're not bothering you that much. And this will still count for the achievement. You will not have to, like, you know. You can also drop vegetarian if you like. Oh, this one, no. But if you drop vegetarian, then you just grab the monkeys again and you eat the monkeys, I guess. But yeah, I think this would be very suitable. You would play it the same way. It would just be easier to feed yourself and there would be less monkeys. This should be a really, really easy run. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh... Let me know in the comments, uh, suggest, criticize, give ideas uh, for the future. Um, I like talking with you guys and girls and uh, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty nice. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, of course. And, you know, if you're not subscribed yet by any chance, I don't know if that would be kind of crazy by how long this round was. But, you know, <laughs> if you subscribe, that would be amazing. I wish you all a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And, uh, yeah, let's make the world a better place. I will see you in the next episode, probably. Uh, well, the next one will obviously be the guide man. And then I'll probably go back to no range as main. But I will also start thinking about what will be my next big run here so yeah i'm accepting suggestions and i'll think about it i'm thinking about killer drones that's just to try them out maybe a short series <laughs> but like knowing me when i start a short series it's like um doesn't really end up being short this one was supposed to be just a couple of episode tutorial but i liked playing it so much that i decided to finish it well i decided to grab that pesky achievement to prove that we can do it that and we did get challenged by the dry season so make sure you build a lot of stuff for dry season but yeah anyway that's gonna be it for this one i will see you in the next one thank you all for watching the new Yomer signing out bye bye <laughs>